recently did a video that demonstrated if a phantom can in fact fly upside down or not. So if you haven't seen that segment, check out tip 8 before watching this. So in this segment we take a look at how we did this and why it actually happens. So here's a quick recap of tip 8 and then some new stuff on the end to explain it a bit better. When a phantom leans over, for whatever reason, it will do everything in its power to get back to level. As you can see here, by forcing the Phantom off level, the bottom rotors are going crazy trying to pull the front back up and the rear rotors are actually slowing right down. This means that if the Phantom gets knocked off level, she will do everything in her power to return to a safe flight position in the blink of an eye. Even if you turn the unit completely on its head, the result is the same. At this point I would caution that our tests are never without casualties and certain procedures have been formulated to avoid danger and crashes in the future. In fact, if you try this at home, just standing on the ground, your unit will crash. Okay, so here's an explanation of our demonstration. If you were to take your Phantom and put it on the ground and set your home position just like normal, or just walk up and try and pick it up, the first thing the Phantom would do is try and get itself back to ground, because that is its last recorded position or its home position. So if you were to turn it upside down and let it go, needless to say, it would head straight for ground. The Phantom will set its position at wherever you last left it. So if it's in a hover and you move it away from this recorded position, all you want to do is get back into that position. You can see here as I pull it out of the hover position, she desperately wants to get back there. This applies not only to position of course, but to altitude as well. Again, it's an amazing feature for fly upsets and strong wind events. So essentially this is how we were able to demonstrate the Phantom flipping itself up the right way and returning back to its hover position. So a couple of words of caution, if you're doing dumb stuff like us with your Phantom, and I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that, but wear safety glasses, gloves, don't do it near anything or anyone, and make sure your GPS is switched on and you have GPS coverage. In future videos we demonstrate how we utilise this incredible feature for some amazing purposes. So if you think this is a bit clever, wait for our next video, you will be absolutely amazed at what this baby can do. We tried these tests predominantly on the Phantom 2, but the Phantom 1 is very similar although a little more temperamental when moved from her locked position. Obviously firmware or model changes may change this information at any time and anything we offer is only from our own personal experience. So check out our website for other tips and tricks plus upgrades to these videos as we discover them and see our behind the scenes versions and how we did it. Happy flying guys.